Good morning guys on day 75 leaving the albergue at 7 o'clock this morning and in search for a place to have breakfast today I'm looking at a 25 kilometer day it is not as cold as it was in the past few days but uh, it's still a little bit chilly so it, that only means that it's probably gonna be hot as hell today so let's get the day started Leaving uh, Siena through this uh, massive uh, gate. I already have breakfast, uh, you know the usual, the cappuccino, chocolate croissant, but I have some orange juice. Walk out of Siena is pretty nice and downhill for the most part. Uh, I've done about 25% of the today's stage. Right now I'm next to the road. I just saw a dead deer lying on the path. Pretty sad, but you know, it's coming. Finally made it to uh, the Ostello at 2 p.m. Just as the sun started to kick, I mean, we have been exposed to the elements, so to speak, for the entire morning. It was great to uh, reunite with uh, Dirk and uh, his wife. 
and uh, now we're staying in this place there's nobody here there's gonna be a full house we had to call the person in charge and uh, they he told us that there's eight people a group of eight plus a few others I just uh, took a shower great shower they had just warm water and I washed my clothes in the sink and right now they're drying up uh, this place is only a bridge and uh, not much around it oh check out that breeze it's probably messing up the audio uh, it doesn't matter there's a bar right across the street and that's where I'm gonna have a snack right now and this afternoon it is where I'm gonna have uh, dinner we had to cross this brand new bridge that they built just for pilgrims which kind of seems out of place for where it's at you know it's so modern compared to the one next to it the old one but uh, I'm not gonna complain it's a great bridge we crossed it we're here and Elena was just uh, kind enough to uh, book uh, tomorrow's accommodation and I think the day after that is one thing if you're walking here I mean I thought I was walking in the shoulder season but there's plenty of pilgrims and uh, if you don't speak Italian then it is very hard to uh, book ahead especially in Ostelos you know you could probably book in a, in a BNB or using bookings.com which is what I've been doing so far uh, but Elena she's been kind enough to help us not just me but also Dirk and, Dirk and his uh, wife gonna go for a little stroll right now have a snack and it is a waiting game probably fly the drone because what else is there to do tomorrow is gonna be uh, probably a tougher day than today today was uh, 25 kilometers and so will be tomorrow and then we're gonna start climbing and then climbing some more it's not a huge uh, mountain or anything like that but we're actually gaining about 500 meters of elevation in one day remember when I crossed the San, the Great San Bernard that was a thousand meters so half of that What a great dinner! <laughs> I crossed over from the albergue to uh, the restaurant across the street and I had a pilgrim's uh, meal. The place was just packed. I mean, there are about 20 pilgrims staying at the hostelo, which is a sign of what's to come. I mean, it's not even the last 100 kilometers. We know how it's gonna get by that point. And uh, yeah, just had a great soup and a salad with some wine and a espresso to finish the the, the night uh, right now I'm heading back in it is nine o'clock tomorrow is a 25 kilometer day and uh, I don't think it's gonna be as easy as today there might be some climbing gotta check the altimeter on the Via Francigena site and uh, but yeah ready to call it a night thank you guys for uh, watching and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow